On March 9, 2018, the world's leading corporate stars united for a special occasion, the 8th annual Le Fonti Awards in Milano. The Le Fonti Awards ceremonies are held annually recognizing industry leaders in the fields of banking, business, economics, finance, sustainability, law, healthcare, insurance, and e-commerce. This year, Raghu Bhargava was awarded CEO of the Year for Innovation HR and Payroll North America and Jita Bhargava won COO of the Year, HR and Payroll North America, both respectively from the global services company, Global Upside. COO of the Year, HR and Payroll North America, il premio viene assegnato a Jita Bhargava, Global Upside. Mr. Bhargava has been awarded for her holistic approach and her commitment to make a Global Upside a trusted partner and favorite problem solver for his client in the US in more than a hundred countries. She has led the company expansion with the launch of the Global PO service and a new human resources software division called MIHI. Congratulations to Jita Bargava, CEO of the Year, HR and Payroll North America. Congratulations. Thank you for being with us. CEO Gita Bargava joins us tonight from Global Upside to explain how a company with international ambitions, interested in investing and or outsourcing abroad, or perhaps even relocating, can really benefit from working with them. Hello, Gita. Hello. And welcome. Thank you. First of all, I'd like to congratulate you for your award that you received, CEO of the Year, HR and Payroll North America. Would you like to comment? Yes, I'm really honored to be here today. We could not have achieved this without our team and the client trusting in us. I would like to thank all of them. Well, that's good. Could you please tell us some challenges facing companies interested in pursuing foreign markets and take the opportunity to cite some examples of issues faced by your clients which you were able to resolve? Well, when U.S. companies try to go abroad, they don't have that experience. And now even a startup company is opening offices all over the world. For example, in U.S., it's just an employment offer letter. But outside of U.S., it's an employment contract, and it needs to be based on the local laws. So if things doesn't work out, you can easily terminate that employees. So what we try to do is we work for the corporate, and we help them with the local laws. So when and if things doesn't work out, they have the easy exit without any extra liability. OK, well, that sounds really interesting. Uh, can you please explain the benefits of outsourcing and foreign relocation and how these strengthen the competitiveness of companies facing the global marketplace? When you have one or two employees and they are outside US, you either have to hire a, a local experts or you can outsource who have the local knowledge. When you hire a local person, it becomes very costly because that person doesn't have enough work, but you are paying local wages. With outsourcing, you are getting the perfect help that you need uh, and stay out of trouble. Mm -hmm. Okay, that sounds good. And uh, for those companies considering uh, outsourcing or relocating, what kind of indicators do you think are most important to tell them? When they are thinking about exploring a new market, they need to talk to experts other than just going and finding a person and trying to hire. For example, one of our clients found a person in Sweden. They wanted to open an office in Sweden. The employee said, uh, please don't worry about setting up pension. Just pay me more money. Uh, and when we found out, we told them no pension is mandatory, which is like 53%. And they were very upset because they had already committed paying higher salary to this employee. And now they also have to contribute to pension on top of it, which was a mandatory. Mm -hmm. So knowing an expert which is independent and focusing on your company's benefit mm -hmm. is very important. 
Well, that's great. And uh, what can you uh, tell us about your plans for this year in 2018? What are your plans? Well, the plans all depend on our clients. <laughs> we are planning to grow quite a bit, and we are hiring a lot of uh, salespeople. Mm -hmm. But our focus stays uh, to take care of our clients. So it's all depend how it comes to us. CEO of the year for Innovation, HR and Payroll North America, il premio viene assegnato a Ragu Bargava di Global Upside. Mr. Bargava has led Global Upside to become an international excellence and an innovative provider of accounting, payroll, HR, PO, and talent acquisition services. He has become a renowned, charismatic business executive who has made a lasting impact through entrepreneurship and innovation, helping companies to accelerate growth. CEO of the Here Innovation, HR, and Payroll North America. CEO Raghu Bhargava joins us tonight to explain how a company with international ambitions, interest in investing and or relocating abroad, or perhaps even outsourcing, can really benefit from his company, Global Upside. Hello, Raghu. Hey, Marco. How are you? Good. How are you doing? Fine, thanks. Well, I'd like to congratulate you, first of all, for your award that you received today, the CEO of the Year for Innovation HR and Payroll North America. Thank you, Marco. How would you like to comment? It's quite an honor. I'm really happy to be a recipient. And uh, obviously, it all depends on the team that we have built. Uh, credit goes to them. I just try to make it look easy, but it's really their hard work that allows us to win an award like that, recognition like that. Uh -huh. Very good. Well, could you please tell us some challenges facing companies interested in pursuing foreign markets and take the opportunity to cite some examples of issues faced by some of your clients which you were able to resolve? Yeah, uh, the, the world is becoming smaller by the day because it's getting easier to travel, it's getting easier to get connected uh, around the planet, uh, which also brings other challenges where it b makes it easier for the employees to go find the jobs and look for things. And as the millennials are coming up, uh, their value system is a little bit different in terms of work-life balance, in terms of mobility, things like that. Uh, so these opportunities, these uh, challenges present different uh, ways to have to deal with that, where you cannot just uh, look at your traditional ways of, uh, of doing business, and you have to come up with new ways to how do you deal with employees that are remote uh, that may or may not be working full-time for you and things like that. So those, those are some of the biggest challenges companies are facing right now. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, can you please explain some of the benefits of outsourcing and relocating and how these strengthen the competitiveness of the companies facing the global marketplace? The, the perspective on, uh, on outsourcing is a little different depending on the size of the company. So obviously smaller companies, they need a lot of resources, but they don't have the ability to hire uh, 20 people because they just don't have the means to do that. So hiring a firm like ours allows them to capitalize on our resources and they can buy piecemeal of what they're looking for. So today we could bring a payroll expert to the table tomorrow, an accounts payroll expert as an, as an example. Obviously, for larger companies, they can afford to hire 20 people. They could afford to hire 200 people doing such stuff like this. But it's still a little bit of a challenge in terms of the expertise that you are acquiring through your team building. Because once you acquire those people, uh, many times their, their growth opportunities are limited. And because they're not facing what other companies are doing on a daily basis, they don't have that expertise there that uh, they can bring to the table in terms of the next phase of the company. Whereas because we work for over 200 clients, it allows us to have that expertise across a wide variety of client base and to bring the best practices to a larger firm. And this is why we service all the way from Fortune 50 clients to some very small clients. Well, that sounds really very interesting. And so what are your plans for 2018? Well, plans are obviously continued growth, but uh, one of the focuses we have this year is we, are, we had launched a software product a couple of years ago, about 18 months ago, and we're really focusing on developing that product uh, in 18 and uh, building on it uh, for our clients' benefits. So. Well, uh, it really seems that global uh, upside is really 
delivering some tangible results, uh, tangible strategic answers to companies interested in pursuing the global market. So I would like to thank you so much for joining us and wish you the very best. Thank you, Marco.